everyone and welcome to our video tutorial for this festive cat hat. So we hope you enjoy it. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Okay, so to make this festive hat, you'll need some yarn. And I'm going to recommend that you use something like a baby yarn. So this one is... Um, a, about a two weight. It's a soft acrylic baby yarn in this sort of silvery grey that I'm going to use today. So if you can find something similar to that then it will work well for this pattern. Um, then for the kind of festive vibe I'm going to add this um, as a trim. So this one perhaps you can see there this, it's a, like a tape and it's got this this sort of fluffy fluffy texture to it. So I think it's a polyester. So if you can find something similar to that, if you're wanting a hat that comes out similar to mine, then, you know, sort of go with something that's close to those two yarns. I'm going to use a 4mm crochet hook throughout. So it's slightly, perhaps kind of on the larger side for this yarn, you know, good with this yarn. Um, yeah, 4mm is going to work out fine for me. You'll need some scissors to uh, cut your ends. A darning needle to weave in your ends and sew on your pom-pom. Uh, a pom-pom maker or other method to oops to make a pom-pom. So I'm going to use this clover one that I enjoy very much. Super easy way to make a pom-pom. I've also got a smaller pom-pom maker, but I think um, I think I'm probably going to end up going with this size. And you know, you use whatever method you've got for making pom-poms. Uh, a stitch marker might be useful. And then a tape measure is optional to take a measurement around your cat's head circumference. So below the ears where you want the, the hat to sit. Um, you know, it's totally optional. If your cat is with you, then you can just fit it as you go. And um, yeah, you know, it, yeah, it's a good idea to have that measurement just so you're in a, in a ballpark range. But even better is if you can fit it as you go. Okay, so here's one I've made previously in green. So we'll be starting at the top here, working this part here. And then we'll work here, the center point, so we can create the ear holes and then the band around the head. So, um, yeah, the stitches and techniques that you'll need to know to make this are how to make a magic ring. All of this area here is single crochet. If you have an understanding of how to increase in the round, it will help you out, especially if you need to size this differently to what I'm explaining on camera. Across the middle here, double crochet. And then you, you'll need to know how to tie on to um, tie on your fluffy yarn so you can create these borders. And the, the ties here are just made with a simple chain. Okay, and then of course making a pom-pom and I'll leave you to do that however you want to. I won't be making that on camera today, but however you want to, you can make your pom-pom. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Slip stitch. You'll need to know how to slip stitch when you're working in the round. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get started. Okay, so take your main colour and make your magic ring. So this is how I do mine, but... Um, you know, if you need to brush up on any techniques and or, you know, you do things your way, whatever works for you. And now you can chain one here, but I, I tend not to. It doesn't count as a stitch either way. I'm just going to place four single crochets into my ring. That's to start off and create row one. Okay, so four single crochets into the ring, and then you'll pull on your tail and you'll make a slip stitch into that first stitch. Now here's where you can start using your stitch marker. I tend to use it for this, just these first few rounds before it comes really clear where my last and first stitches are. So chain one to move on to the next round. So we're going to place two single crochets in that first stitch. One and two. One single crochet in the next. Two 
two single crochets in the next. So we're going from four to six stitches in this round. So that's two. And then in the last stitch, place one single crochet. And then slip stitch to join. So ignore your chain and slip stitch to join. Replace your stitch marker if you're using one and chain one. So for round three we're just going to place one single crochet in each of those six stitches. So that's one, two, three. So you'll start to see a pattern emerging so we're going to increase in one round and then just a non-increase round for the next round. Okay, so this is our non-increase round. Oh, my yarn is splitting a little bit there. It's always a little bit fiddly, this, this first bit. So, there, that's five. And then in that last stitch, make six. And just start to turn that in the right way. So ignore your chain and slip stitch to join. And replace your stitch marker. Chain one. So our next round will be an increase round. So in the first stitch place two single crochets. In the next one single crochet, one single crochet in the next. So that's two in the first, one, one in the next two. So we're increasing from six to eight stitches here. And then in the last two stitches, one single crochet. One and one. and slip stitch to join. Okay, now the next round will just be one single crochet in each stitch. So go ahead and do that. You've got eight stitches, place one single crochet in each stitch and I'll meet you when I've done mine. Okay, so I've just finished my one single crochet in each of those eight stitches and I'm just stuffing my tail in there so it's out of my way. And I've chained one and I'll just replace my stitch marker. So now we're moving on to another increase round. So in that first stitch, two single crochets. So I guess you might be starting to see a pattern now. And then in the next three stitches, one single crochet. In the next stitch, two single crochets. And then in those last three stitches in this round, one single crochet, two. And last stitch makes three. So then the next round will be a non increase round, just one single crochet in each stitch. That last stitch can sometimes be a little bit tight. Well, it is for me anyway. So, working into that last stitch still. We'll get there. Okay, there it is. And then slip stitch to join. So I tend to be a crocheter who crochets on the tighter side. And then I'll insert my stitch marker. So now go ahead, after you've chained one, and place one single crochet in each of those 10 stitches. Okay, so that's the first little part of this hat. So we've done this part here. Okay, so now we're going to start to increase it out to this area here. So chain one and in 
your first stitch place two single crochets actually what I should mention before we go any further is if you want to um, increase the height of this area here it's meant to kind of look like a little Christmas tree but if you want to increase the you know this area a little bit you could go for another increase round if you wanted to if you're familiar with increasing in the round you could go you do two single crochets in this first stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches two single crochets and then in the last four you would add your four single crochets and then you do one more round of single crochet if you want to it's just an option okay so if you want to extend this area here a little bit more then you can do that but I'm going to move on to my next increase so I've placed my two single crochets in that first stitch and then I'm going to place one single crochet in the next stitch two in the next and then one in the next so we're basically just repeating this section here okay so two one two one so I'm going to finish that off to the end of my round and I'll meet you there okay so I've finished that increase round chain one and you've probably guessed it's just one single crochet in each stitch so I'll meet you at the end of this round okay so I'm just placing my last stitch that's my 15th stitch in that round slip stitch to join and replace my stitch marker so yeah perhaps you can you know you can continue to see what's going on here so we're going to increase again so two in that first stitch and then one in the next and one in the next two in the next and then two in the next and then one in the next two so go ahead and finish this round and I'll meet you at the end okay so that's my increase round finished so my next round will be one single crochet in each stitch and then I'll do my next increase round which will be two one two three two single crochets and then one two three so single crochets in the next three stitches just as you did here okay so I'm going to go ahead and do my next three rounds my next one being one single crochet in each stitch the next one being my next increase round and then the next one being my one single crochet in each stitch so I'm going to um, finish off those next three rounds and you do the same and we'll meet each other after that and we'll discuss about sizing this hat okay so now you've finished um, that set of increases it's up to you to decide whether you um, go for a little bit more okay so you've got this here so you'll have uh, 25 stitches at the end here now um, I think I'm going to go for another increase here okay so um, I'm comparing it to my other one and, and I know you don't have one to compare it to but I think I probably need so you you'll check the the diameter here according to your cat's head and you can see that mine's still quite small here so it'll depend on your yarn it'll depend on your hook size it'll depend on you know to a certain degree your crochet technique I think I want to go for just one more increase here so you know increasing in the round as as I gave you the option you know previously so you can you can add your extra increase here as well okay so that would be two single crochets in that first stitch and then one single crochet in the next four stitches 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you need to increase a little bit more, then you do that as well. And then after this increase round, you'll add another single crochet around, just one in each stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and finish those off, and I'll see how it's looking from there. And uh, yeah, then you know you have the option of doing another increase round if you want to. It's entirely up to you, but I'm going to do this one and I'll and plus my next row and then all round and then I'll see how I'm looking and I'll be back. Okay, so I've done what I want to do there. So this is going to be big enough for me. So just uh, just allow for the fact that you're going to be adding that um, the edging around the ears. Okay, so you want to allow for that here. Okay. But that's going to work for me for the top of the hat. So yeah, it's meant to be like a little a little Christmas tree. Okay, so we're going to move on to create the ear holes. Now I've got I've ended up with thirty stitches. Okay, now this is going to be a little bit of trial and error. So you'll have to um, you know yours might not be exactly the same as mine. Okay. So this round is kind of arbitrary and you will work out how you need it to work for your cat and for the number of stitches that you've got. Okay, so it's going to be double crochet that we'll use in this round just to give us that little bit of extra height. So chain two and in your first stitch place a double crochet and then you'll Actually, I'm going to just bring that, sorry, it's going to leave a big hole. I'm actually going to bring that just under that chain. So that's my first stitch. And then second stitch. And so what I think I'm going to do with dividing this up is I've got 30 stitches. So I want to have some stitches at the front, some stitches at the back. So this is where I'm starting. I'm starting at the back here. So I've placed a couple of double crochets in here. Then I'm going to chain what I want for my ear hole. I'm going to skip nine. Okay, so how I'm going to work this out is I'm going to have six on, on front and back. So here and here, I'm going to have six stitches. And then I've got, so that makes six and six, 12. Out of 30 stitches, I've got 18 left. So I'm going to skip nine. And I'm probably going to chain about 25 to get this nice wide ear hole. Okay, so let's let's see how we go with that. Okay, so I've got uh, one, two, and three. And then I'm going to skip nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm just going to put my stitch marker in that tenth, just so I know where I'm aiming. And then I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'll have three stitches left. So that'll give me my total of six. So your chain doesn't count as a stitch, okay? So, uh, like I said, I'm going to skip nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm going to chain about 25. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So now just to just to interlude here, what I like to do is because you're not you're not using the same yarn as me. You may or may not be using the same hook size. Your cat will undoubtedly be a different size to Melba. So what I try to do in these patterns is give you plenty of leeway to be able to size this yourself. Now the downside of that is that it's not an exact pattern with an exact number of stitches. And you know, for some people I know that that, um, that makes things a little bit more difficult and for that I apologize but I would rather that you are able to fit this to the size of your cat so you have your, the best chance of your cat being able to wear it okay so if I just give you a pattern that works for Melba's sizing you know that's probably not going to work for your cat so I want to give you plenty of leeway to size this yourself so in this round, you get to decide how many stitches go in the front and the back, how many stitches you skip, how many you chain, okay? 
and it's completely arbitrary. Your numbers may or may not be the same as mine, okay? But you, all you want to be able to do is it doesn't matter if the front and back have a different number of stitches. That doesn't matter. What does matter, though, is that your ear holes are symmetrical. So you're skipping and chaining the same number on each side, okay? So I've chained 25 there, and let's see, let's have a look at that, how that's coming out. Yeah, that, see that, I'm looking at that, and because I'm quite familiar with Melba's sizing, I think that that's probably going to be okay. So I'm going to at least see how this goes. So let's uh, double crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, into that tenth stitch there. So that's one double crochet, two, so I'm going to do six. So this is the front of the hat, three, four, five. And like I said before, it doesn't matter if the front and the back have a different number of stitches, but I'm going to keep mine the same. So I've got six there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's, I know it's the third stitch from the end, so I don't really need to mark it. But I'll chain my 25. One, two, three, four. So I'll do that off camera. I won't bore you counting to 25 again. So I'll see you after I've done my chain of 25. Okay, I've got my 25 chains on this side. And so I know I've got three more stitches to do here. So double crochet into that third from the end, two, oops, let's start that one again, two, and three. And then I'll slip stitch into that first stitch. I'm just going to ignore my chain there and let's see okay now I've got I've got this previous one to compare to just so I can size it without you know having Melba here yeah that's going to be pretty good I think so this is really close to the previous size previous one size now obviously you won't have one that you've got already sized um, so you uh, what's a good idea at this point is to check it on your cat's head now remember at the beginning I said it's maybe a good idea to take a measurement of your cat's head circumference below the ears this is what this measurement would be okay so that this this now is going to be the size that goes onto the head so this part's going to go onto the head now you could increase here if you want to but um, Probably you want to have this, you know, your two chains of 25 equal up to the, the, the circumference or, you know, the half circumference of your cat's head. Okay, so this is, it's slightly smaller, but this one actually turned out slightly big. So I think that's going to be fine now. And it's, this yarn is nice and soft. It's got a little bit of a stretch to it. So I'm pretty happy. I could have maybe added one more chain to each side, but I think I'm going to run with that. So now we'll move on. And we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch. So chain one. And then one single crochet in each stitch and or chain so obviously these will be stitches and then you will place one single crochet into each chain as well so go ahead and do that finish off this round so one single crochet into each chain now you can work into the chain space if you wanted to i'm you know add 25 stitches for example into your chain space or you can work into the chains themselves and I'm going to work into the chains themselves whatever works for you on that it doesn't really matter it's going to get covered whatever happens here is going to get covered with that um, fluffy yarn anyway so I'm going to go ahead and finish off this round just one single crochet in each stitch and then you'll go for um, at least one more round so I've done 
So I've done here one, two, and I've actually done, yeah, I've done three rounds, okay? But you can adjust that as well. So you can adjust the width of this area, but it's basically just going around and around with single crochets until you come to the, the height or the width of this area that you want that sits on the head. So I'm probably going to go for this round plus two more. So you go ahead and do what you need to do there. And if you like if by chance you need to add a an increase in, you certainly can. So you can, you know, you can adjust this to your cat's head size. No problem. So if you need to increase the the um, you know, the size of this this headband part, the part that goes around the head circumference, you you sh you definitely can. You know? So w that's why it's easier with this sort of pattern to have your cat with you. You can try it on, make sure that it's that it's fitting okay and then make your adjustments if you need to. And you can always also go back and adjust the number of chains if you you know if you need to. Just you know play around with that that row as you need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish off those rounds that will be my the band that goes around the head and I'll see you after that. Okay, so I've just finished my final round there and I'll just slip stitch to join. So this is what we've got here now. Okay, something that looks like this, like a little Christmas tree with a headband. Okay, so you'll tie off here. So I've done three rounds as I thought I would and that's going to be enough for me because just remember that you're adding your festive border to it so I'm just going to yarn over pull through leave a tail so now you what you'll do is you'll create your border so take your your border yarn whatever it is you're using and I'm going to work in my tail so I'll just uh, tie on Let's tie on to that first stitch. So the way I tie on, and you may have a different way to do it, but I just place my new yarn over top of my hook and pull up a loop. And then I chain one just to secure it. And then I'll just pull the, the tail ends tight. And then I don't count that chain one as a chain, actually. I chain one extra, and then I'll just pl place single crochets one in each stitch working in my actually I'll work in this tail as we go to let's just go back one so you can work in your tail as you go or you can you know weave them in at the end I would prefer to work them in as I go so I'm going to do that so I'm just going to finish off with this border around this edge here and then I'll come back and show you how I do this inner area here. So basically it's the same thing. You'll just tie on at, I tend, what I tend to do is I tend to tie on the back here. Oh, actually is that the back? That's the front. So yeah, tie on here. Okay. And then I just work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So I'll, uh, I'll come back and we'll tie on together in the center there, in the ear holes there. But just go ahead and finish off your one single crochet in each stitch around the base of the hat. And then, of course, after that, all we've got to do is uh, make the pom-pom and stick it on top. But, you know, the pom-pom's optional. You've got other things. You know, maybe you could make, I don't know, like a little star to go on top. You, your creativity can kind of take over on that you don't have to add anything on top I think it's probably a little bit bare with nothing on top because you know it's meant to be the, like that kind of Christmasy Christmas tree shape so you want something on top you know maybe you know maybe it is a star pom-pom a small pom-pom a larger pom-pom so this one here is quite you know I've got quite a big pom-pom on the top there but you could add a smaller one you could add I don't know you could even add two pom-poms two little pom-poms on the side um, yeah like I said a little star you know and you could even you know I'm not going to do anything like this today but you could even even like decorate it with little little Christmas baubles 
I don't know, man. You can you can you can go go crazy with your festive creativity. So I'm just gonna make this basic this basic hat with a bit of a festive twist. And um, yeah, I'll finish off this. I'll finish off this border at the base here. I'll come back and we'll we'll tie on together in in the ear holes there. And um, yeah, then we'll finish off together. Oh, and of course we'll we'll be making the ties as well. So uh, yes, see you see you soon. Okay, so just I'm just placed my last single crochet, and I'm just slip stitching in here. To join and then I'll just yarn over pull through and have that tail to weave in okay so now we'll do the the ear hole so like I said before I just tie on the back here into this into this corner here so I'll just tie on in the same way pull up a loop chain one, a bit more yarn, there we go, and then just tighten that tail, and once again I'll, I'll work it in as I go. So the chain one just secures it, so I tend to not usually count that chain one as a chain. Chain again, and then work back into that stitch. And then I'll just work all the way around the ear hole, so into the stitches along here, and then into the other loop of the chain around the ear holes. So I'll do that on both of my ear holes, so just one single crochet in each of those stitches or chains, and I'll meet you once I've done both of those. And actually, just to show you what I do here with this with, when you get to these double crochet edge, I just place one single crochet in the center of that double crochet and then I start to work around the other corner. Okay, so you can you can manage that as you want to, but yeah, that's how that's how I do it. Okay, so once you've done your edging, you'll of course weave in your tail ends and you'll have, you know, at least at least three to weave in. So You'll just thread your darning needle with your tail end. Hopefully it's got a large eye for you to get that through. And then you'll just, it's very forgiving this yarn, so you'll just weave it, weave the tail into the edging there. And if you haven't worked in your tail ends as you go, you'll weave your grey ends or your, you know, the equivalent of my grey into your into your grey. I'm just going to weave this down a little bit more. And I think that'll be enough. So I'll snip that end. Snip that excess there. And then I'll go ahead, I'll weave in my other ends and I'll be right back and we'll, we'll add the, uh, the, the ties together. Okay, so there's what we've got. All the ends are woven in so you can you know you can do your ties how you want to do them I I just do them with my my edging yarn because it you know it looks I think a bit neater but if you wanted to do it with the equivalent of where the gray you know what you're using for the gray you could use those as well but I'm just going to so what I do with these these uh, these ends is just like have your have your hat to the front and so you're at halfway, but I just come just slightly forward of halfway when I tie on. Okay, so I'll just tie on here. And then I'm just going to make a chain to the length that I want. So with this fluffy yarn, I don't need to um, slip stitch back or anything like that. But um, yeah, I'll make a chain. I'll probably go to about 40 chains, 40 or 50 chains, something like that. But, um, you know, if you wanted to and you were using your main color, you could slip stitch back up the back up the um, up the chain and attach your, you know, attach it once you get back. That's an option if you're not using your your fluffy 
your fluffy yarn for your ties. So go ahead and chain the number that you're going to chain for your ties and do, do both of them. Weave in your ends and I'll meet you once I've done that. Okay, so I've got my 40 chains there and that's going to be long enough. And I just pull through and snip off a little tail. Tighten this end. And because it's with this, you know, with this fluffy yarn, I just... Um, well, actually, what's probably a good idea to do first before you snip it off too, too closely is I just tie a little extra knot and bring it down to the, the base, just at the base of my chain, just to secure it there. Tie that little extra knot, and then you can just snip off. Okay, so that's one tie done. And I'll do my second, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so tie's done. Just what's left is for me to make my pom-pom, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. And I'll see you after I've done that. And, um, you know, just remember to leave enough of a tail for your pom-pom to be able to sew it on. Okay, so I've got my pom-pom there with a nice long tail. So it's just a matter now of sewing that into your hat. So just thread your needle with one of the oops with one of your tail ends there you go and so you just want to you want to secure this right on the top so go straight through the top and down into the hat with one of your tails and then do the other one So you can go down into the same, the same area. So make sure that's nice and firm, but just so make sure it's not misshaping your hat. I've got some tinsel on there. It's definitely Christmas. Okay, so just pull that nice and firmly, and then you're going to go back up into the back up into the hat and through the pom-pom to make sure it's nice and secure. So just make sure that's nice and tight and then back up through the center of the hat and it might just take a little bit to wiggle it on up there depending how dense your pom-pom is. There we go and she's through. So I'm just going to pull that all the way through and then I'm going to do the same with the second tail. And then we'll just trim those we'll just trim those tails as if they're part of the as if they're part of the pom-pom. So I just tend to try and go you know just to either side of center when I'm going back up there. Okay, so just make sure it's nice and firm. Let's see how that's sitting. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. And then you'll just, so you'll trim these. Now if you if yours isn't firm enough, you can go back through again and, and back up, or back, you know, just back through once. And then you'll just trim these two ends as part of the, as part of the pom-pom. And you might need to give your pom-pom a little haircut. Mine needs a little haircut here and there. And then otherwise, that's that's pretty much it. So you're done. Look at that cute little festive hat. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's obviously super cute. Look at that. <laughs> so please send along your photos to catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media at catventurous.crochet. As always, I love to see the photos of how your hat turns out. Um, I'd love to meet your cat, so please do that. And uh, if you enjoy my tutorials, please um, consider liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. And uh, thanks very much for being here and we hope to see you soon. Okay, bye. Could you remember?